Hi everyone, I just wanted to quickly take you through our assessment piece, creating an ad adaptation game using Scratch. Now most of you have completed the prac, so all you need to do now is complete the theory. Now to complete this, complete it on your OneNote in your own section under technology. Just watch a tutorial right here, how to copy pages from the content library to student section. So once you've copied this page, into your own section, then I want you to start the assessment task. Here are some revision materials as well, if needed to help you with your assessment, if you forget what any of these terms mean when I take you through the assessment. So first of all, let's go through part A. All you need to do is name and describe the purpose of each digi digital system or component. So just name what this is and what does it do? Name this and what does it do? Go on to the next question. Circle the correct answer if it's an input or output and then explain the journey from keyboard to output. If you go back up here, there is a slideshow up here, journey of a letter that will help assist you to answer this question. Next one. Explain what a computer can do or join when connected to a home network router. Think about when you're working from home, if you're working from a laptop or computer, and then you have a router, a wireless router at home. What does it help you to do? That's all you need to do to answer this question. Next one. In your game, list the gems and the predators that exist in your game for your animal to survive. How will you maintain this game as your knowledge develops about adaptations? So all I want you to do is just explain when you collect a certain gem that's in your game. So if I had a desert animal, what sort of things would my desert animal like to collect? And how many points does it get when it collects that gem? What actually kills off my animal in the game or ends the game? So that's all you need to talk about in there. When it says, how will you maintain this game as your knowledge develops about adaptations? So during your science lessons, you would have learned all about adaptations. And I know that in the desert, I've learned animals need to adapt by, um, there's certain foods that are available for them. So they're the sorts of things that I will include in my game. So I want you to make sure that you list that here. Okay, in this next section, we just wanna define the purpose and requirements for the game. So you're just gonna go through purpose. What's the purpose of your game? Who is this game? Who is gonna play it? How will the game solve a problem? Then we wanna talk about the functional functional requirements, what features will you include in your game? So this is where you'll list your gems, how will, it, how will you move your um, animal around the game? Will you use the up, left, down, right arrow, or will you use the mouse? It's, it's your game, so you need to make sure the functional requirements, write that in this section. What data will you need to collect or create for this game? So what are you going to include? What sort of backgrounds? And, and um, are you going to score this game? How are you going to score it? So that's all you need to put in this section here. Then you need to tick the boxes to show what the users will see in your game. So just tick any of those. Then moving up. So this is a B standard question. We want you to identify an additional digital system. So name a digital system that you see in this picture. Explain what you might use it for. So in here, have a look at what digital systems is this person here using? What will this person use it for? All right, when this device connects to a network. So here's a big clue I'm circling around. When it connects to a network, such as your router, the Wi-Fi, explain what it can do. Moving on, what could you do to improve your game? So this here is sort of evaluating your game now. Now that you've had a look at your game and you've played it, what can you do to make it better? 
and then justify why this would make it better. So for example, in my game, when I modified my game at the end, I needed to reduce the size of my sprite because it was too big when it was getting around the screen, it kept bumping into all the, all the obstacles that would kill it off. So I, my game would end very quickly because my avatar was too big. So I had to reduce its size. Uh, that's how I justified to make it better. This code is to move your animal around the game. There is a block missing. What is it and how does this affect the game? So let's have a look here. When the flag is clicked, go to mouse pointer, play the sound bubbles. So we are missing a block. What is the block that I'm missing and how does it affect the game to move your animal or your avatar around your game? You might need to look at your game when you get back to school to finish off answering that question. And then to get an A, you need to explain the benefits of the networking digital systems and then you need to reflect. So let's have a look. What benefits does a computer have when it's connected to other networks? So again, you're just summarizing what have we learned about when we connect our computer to the internet or to our OneDrive, anything like that. So what are the benefits? Why is this a good thing? Uh, then finally, describe how your game could be maintained for future use. So with your game, when you finished, uh, finish the game, how are you going to keep it up to date? So do you need to make sure that your game uh, needs to be your software updated so you can keep uploading it onto the network? You need to write down here how can your game be maintained for future use? Also, suggest how the game could be adapted to make use of emerging and future technologies, such as input and output devices. So an example of this would be, so what I could use is my virtual reality goggles. You could also use maybe a remote control would you need to hook it up using Bluetooth? List a few things of how you could adapt your game using emerging and future technologies. All right, and that's the end of your assessment. That's all you need to do. Once you've done that, I'll be able to see it all on your worksheet. I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you when we get back to school.